We want to update you now on an incredible journey we've been tracking for the last few months. The turtles have landed. They're part of a group of loggerhead sea turtles released into the middle of the Pacific by Stanford researchers. And as Spencer Christian reports, their arrival may help solve an ocean-going mystery. When we first met these endangered loggerhead sea turtles last year, they were plunging into the Pacific, outfitted with satellite tracking devices. Researchers from Stanford have been waiting anxiously, hoping to learn if a mysterious climate-driven pathway is allowing some of the turtles to travel thousands of miles to the coast of California and Mexico, crossing waters that are normally too cold for them. So the hypothesis is that under warm ocean conditions, we'll see more sea turtles make it to the North American coast. Dana Briscoe is a marine scientist with Stanford's Doerr School of Sustainability. She says the sea turtles, seen here as colored lines in this animation, typically follow a food-rich band of warm water known as the Pacific Transition Zone, something like a floating buffet. But watch what happens in late October, early November as more than half a dozen sea turtles peel off, heading south, with three reaching the coastline of Mexico and Southern California. That's right. We have a milestone in our project. We have three sea turtles that have reached the North American coast and are doing very different things. Briscoe and her fellow Stanford Dora researcher Larry Crowder have hypothesized that the breakaway turtles are slipping through a kind of thermal corridor a warm water channel they believe opens up during warm El Nino years and essentially slams shut when waters cool back down. Professor Crowder says this winter's tracking data could potentially confirm the El Nino effect. And it happens to fit pretty well with our hypothesis that we put out there in advance. So it's really exciting because we're doing an experiment at an oceanographic scale, scale. We're testing a hypothesis. Nobody's ever done that before. And if their luck holds out in a few months, the Stanford team will get a chance to test the flip side of the theory with a colder La Nina current potentially in the forecast. A chance to see if the cooler waters shut down the thermal corridor. This year, we're releasing another 25 turtles, and we hope to get the same amount of information uh, as, as this year. And um, we can compare and contrast and see under El Nino versus La Nina conditions, what will the turtles do the same and what will they do differently? And whether some do or don't make it to the coast of North America. But ultimately, the Stanford team believes its research may also provide a look into the future, uncovering critical clues to how climate change and warming ocean waters might affect the migration patterns of both the sea turtles and many other marine creatures as well. At Stanford... Spencer Christian, ABC7 News.